Have you ever thought that the word of the creator of this whole universe must have been much greater than the Quran so that not even a single intelligent person in this world would have felt any doubt about it? Or have you ever felt somewhere in some places in the Quran that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, thought also has been added in it? I am asking this to you because you have been very smart in pointing out every single error in other scriptures and make the conclusion that these words cannot be from God. So have you felt like this in some places of the Quran also? This question is asked by Shafiq from Kerala. He is basically asking me two questions. That did you ever feel any time while reading the Quran that the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so great and this Quran is not up to the mark? Or did you ever feel that this Quran has some words even of the Prophet that is added to the Quran? Because I keep on doing comparative studies about other religions and I have pointed out many similarities. He is saying mistakes. I point out mistakes of the other scriptures less. I talk more about similarities. But yes, there are in occasions where I have taken out false also. But my main purpose is to get the similarities. The reply to your question can be given in my talk is the Quran God's word. And if you hear my talk, which is for about two and a half hours, along with the question and session, it is the longest talk which I gave in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur. It was for about more than six hours. The talk was for two and a half hours and the question and session were mainly asked by non-Muslims was for additional more than three and a half hours. So the full talk was for about six to six and a half hours, along with the question and session. Whereas your first part of the question is that did you feel that the Quran is, is, is insufficient to prove the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? There are two types of reading of the Quran. Or other three types. One is just brushing through it. The other is tazakkure Quran. And the third is the tadabbure Quran. So people who just brush through the Quran don't nearly understand the Quran. Those who do tazakkure Quran, Alhamdulillah, they are impressed. But there is something called as tadabbure Quran that is pondering over the verses of the Quran. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 82, Afala yadadabbarun al Quran, walau kala minun dil gerillah. Lavajudu fiqhil afan kasira. Do they not consider the Quran with care? If it had been from anyone besides Allah, there would have been many contradictions. Afala yatadabbarun al Qurana. Afala yatadabbarun al Quran. Walokana minindi gerilla. Lavajudu fiktil afan kasira. Do they not ponder over the Quran with care? Had it been from anyone besides Allah, there would have been many contradictions. And no one so far has been even able to point out a single contradiction in the Quran. So if you read it superficially, you will not really understand the Quran. If you read the Quran, you read the Quran, but not with that in-depth pondering, you will find the beauty of the Quran, alhamdulillah. But if you do the Quran, there is not an out of doubt at all. The Quran is a challenge. And that's why Allah says in the Quran that if this Quran had been from anyone besides Allah, try and produce a Quran like it. There's a challenge. In Surah Isra, chapter number 17, and no one has been able to meet the challenge. Surah Isra, chapter 17, verse number 18. Allah makes the challenge easier. They try and produce 10 surahs like the Quran. In Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 52. Allah then makes the challenge much more easier. Try and produce one surah like the Quran. Then Allah makes the challenge more easier. In Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 23 and 24, where Allah says that do they not ha uh, Allah says that in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 23 and 24, that Allah has sent his messenger. Had it been from this word th that Allah has sent his messenger with this book can you produce something like it and you will never be able to do it and you will never be able to do it 
and be prepared for the fuel, be prepared for the fire whose fuel is managed stones. So here Allah is giving the challenge, try and produce a surah somewhat similar to it, minimally. And call forth for helpers, anyone besides Allah, if your doubts are true. Allah is saying, try and produce a surah somewhat similar to Mimisli. And call forth your helpers, anyone that you have besides Allah, if your doubts are true. And if you cannot, and of a surety cannot, then fear the fire whose fuel shall be managed to. So here, this Quran is a phenomenal book. It is par excellence. It cannot be written by any human being. Even the way it is mathematically coded also, and I have all given this in my talk, the way, the superiority that it has, it cannot leave a doubt in anyone who is intelligent, anyone of understanding. Your question was that, couldn't the Quran be better that no one would have doubted? If that's the case, it's very easy. Allah says in the Quran, if he wanted, you could have made all the human beings believer. But where is the test? Allah has made the human beings, giving them a free will. So when you give a free will, there are chances that you may not agree. So Allah has given that free will. That's the reason everyone doesn't believe in the Quran. If Allah would not have given the free will, there is no question. And if everyone agrees, then where is the test? If everyone agrees, then what is the benefit for us? We want to be better. We want to go to Jannah. We want to get the reward. If everyone comes out first, imagine if 100 people take part in a race and all 100 come out first. Does it make any sense? Then what's the logic of the test? So here yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the Quran such a way that anyone who is intelligent, anyone who is logical, anyone which has the basic sense, they would believe in the Quran. But some people are extra smart. They use the intelligence to go against. And that's the reason they don't believe. They realize it, but they don't believe. And we have several such examples. Coming to the second part of the question, that is it possible that did you any time doubt that maybe the words of Prophet Muhammad have been added or Prophet Muhammad's words were there in the Quran. And I've covered this point in my talk, is the Quran God's word. And I said that anyone who knows the basic knowledge of Islam will agree that this book was first recited. This Quran was recited by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And then there are two types of people. Some who say this book is from Prophet Muhammad, Nausbillah, and the other group. And I started giving reasons that Okay, some people say Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, wrote the Quran for money and I disproved it. He wrote it for power and I disproved it. He wrote it to become famous and I disproved it. He wrote it, he wrote the Quran and attributed it to Allah because he wanted to unite the Arabs and I disproved it. So every argument that the non-Muslims give, I've disproved in this talk. That is the reason it is the largest, the longest talk I've ever given in my life. Two and a half hours. And then, there is something like called as falsification test. That if you disprove the Quran, do this. And which I said, if you want to disprove the Quran, try and produce one surah somewhat similar to it. And you will not be able to do it. And many people tried and they failed it. And I have given various other ways of how to prove the Quran is God's word. So if you want the detailed answer, refer to my talk, is the Quran God's word? And you too would be undoubtedly sure that this Quran has to be from our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is the word of God and it is the most positive book in the world. It's a proclamation to humanity. It's a fountain of mercy and wisdom. It's a guide to the erring. It's a warning to the heedless. It's an assurance to those, it's an assurance to those in doubt. It's a, to, it's a solace to the suffering and a hope to those in despair.